So guys, in this video, I will show you how to make this animation in which cube react to music. So let's open up the blender. Um, okay, we will use this cube as it is. Just scale it a little bit. Also in that direction. Okay, now let's open the node editor. Just split this view and open node editor and select animation tab here. And if create new, if it is not created, now let's an object node. The shift A object and object. Select the object in object code and just eye drop it. Now we will create instances or the copy of this object. Now add shift a object instancer and just connect this node object. Now we will want to form a grid like this, this, this. Okay, there is a node in animation tools mesh generator grid. Okay, set step. Now we don't know how much cube we need, so we can customize it with the grid. Just connect the vertices to the instances. It will automatically uh, input the get length, get list length, which is the numbers we needed to make this grid. Okay. Now we have set up our grid. Now we want to move our objectives in the location of this grid. So we can done by using matrices. So shift A object and select matrix output and connect these objectives to the this and we will use matrix to set up the location of the object is the matrix is called the replicate matrix now shift a matrix and replicate matrix connect matrices to the matrix and set the vectors so we will use the location of the grid points like this vertices and set it to the transform and we set up our grid we will tweak the values like x distance and till they are separated ok create 1.41 also set 1 y to 1.41 and set caps to 20 also this to 20 now we will animate the z location of these cubes so we will add another matrix which is called offset matrix and matrix offset just place between in them and select the location set z to 1 and set to the end now we will control the z location by this fall off also animation node has some fall offs and we will use wiggle which will you can see if we connect it, it will set different the location for the different objects. So set evolution to 10 and now we animate it. Set to speed to again 1. And now we want to set location to be moved by the audio. So we will need to make sound. Now there are node and sound and make sound. Just open the sound you want. In my case, it's a favorite. Fade. Okay. You can bake average and spectrum. And there are calculate the spectrum frequency set to the 10. So how much detail you want in your animation, you can customize it. Like amount 10, we can set it to 50. It will bake more frequencies like which get more detail. Now set set to bake average which will instant now back spectrum which will take some time about 30 to 40 seconds let's wait now the sound is baked now we had the sound fall off swift a fall off sound set it to the spectrum select song and multiply with wiggle
voila mix and next multiply also multiply it with the average set it to the average same graded so if i okay let's just close this so set the offset to the minus so it minus Now, also, let's split this window. We can select the portion of the song, like video sequence editor, and just drag this. And set the offset to low, like point one point four. Another star You were the shot you Let's try this further Out of sight Wanna see you Set the material. So select the cube, which is the original cube. Now just tab it and convert it to the three different parts. Like Control R for the loop cut. One upper part. This. Select this and move a little bit up. Also, corner the loop cut. Okay, now we will set the material. Select like the material, use notes, and here add another new material and press the tab, select new, and add emission, emission shader. So, emission. So, we want to change the color by the frequency so we need two colors red input rgb set it to the blue and sfd to the big head set it to like the purple color and just mix it color mix rgb so now we will uh, change this factor value mm -hmm. And just apply it to the now control tab for the face select mode. Like this face, this face, this face, and this again assign. I'm oh, sorry, assign this material. So you can see now we want to change this factor for changing the color. Okay. Now set another material new if said new also the uh, text shader to the emission and two colors put RGB is to like and fifty like yellowish set it orange swifty color mix rgb mix those two also and select the bottom faces okay. 
as well you can see on the material and assign it also now for the bottom part we just want the one color select it and new new delete shade animation surface and set it to like yellowish color now if you go into the render mode voila and set the world color to the old black and delete the lamp okay just to create also we can increase the intensity like two two and two now let's go to the animation tab now set the average now add material type of material output select this blue material select mix which we want to control the value of the factor and here is a factor and let shift a fall off evaluate this fall off strength will be this okay now let's do the viewer by the same w in viewer you can see the value of the material if we play the wanna see you never touch is a zero or near the zero so we use the range my range tab next shift a number and map range so in the input maximum we can change the output minimum and maximum input minimum should be zero maximum margin average should be 1.5 this should be the one perfect now also we change another material value material 0, 0.0 material English mix factor like this if you go to the and just press the home button now we will set the camera okay let's set on the position and press the control alt and zero Select the camera, press N, unlock camera to view. Now just drag the scene, press Ctrl, middle mouse, and drag it. Okay, just look great. Close this. Oh, sorry, uncheck this. Now you can see that. Okay, you can see there is here. You can see the bottom colors here so we don't want this so just add a plane near to it and shift c to the center shift a plane drag and rotate r y 90 set near to this and Okay, let's see the one for the orthographic view. Press three and five, five for the orthographic view, and scale in y direction as y. So y. Now we see the camera. Let's set. And set a little bit down. Zero. Shift Z. Let's look red. Now let's render it. On the scene tab, we will check this denoising and resolution to 100%. Now select here the FF MPEG video. See here MPEG 4. And here MP3 or AC3 
can set the render to the 50 and also this check this for the every new sheet with frames and just render it so guys there is a problem there is only two straps we want three because we shouldn't assign the value of third just do it select the main cube tab and assign it let's see it now it is look great now you can render it thanks for watching